Sarah coming to you from the Oklahoma City store mm -hmm. and we're here to tell you about something that we figured out recently and we want to share how much fun it is. So I don't know if you are aware of some of the neat things you can do with IQ Designer. I think you are because we've shown you a lot of them. Mm -hmm. but one of the most cool things you can do is the custom stitches that come into it. So come on over here for a second, Kayla, okay. and we can show them what do we got? Close. So Baby Lock has come out with these design suites okay. where you can see some of them are a little bit holiday themed. Like this one had um, like Thanksgiving and Halloween and Christmas and New Year's and other ones had other holidays on it. Okay. But as they keep going, they keep coming up with more and more fun things. Yeah. So, so much so that we have some that this one has been partnered with Fabric Confetti by okay. Vanessa. And this one was partnered with um, Zandra Shaw. Okay. And then Very this is cute. a new one also that is um, another collection that I don't think it's partnered with anyone, but look at it. No, it has some, the Hobbies collection. That's what it is, Hobbies, because look at some of the cute cooking I stuff. Know, my and gosh. so what this is, because I know you look at it and you go, it's just a design pack. What's in here? What's in these is fills and motifs and. Um, all those things that you can do with IQ Designer with mm -hmm. all those built-in design stitches. Okay. Then, then you can manipulate them. You can you can skew them and you can resize right, them and right. all that. And like I only want it to fill in this area, but I want it to be really small here mm -hmm. and really big there. That's only something that can happen in IQ Designer. Okay. And these designs, while they're not a stitch file, these are designs that work in IQ Designer to in become the, stitches. To become oh, stitches. very cool. So you use the custom tab for that. Yeah. Okay. The other thing that's cool about it is that these designs mm -hmm. play in Palette 11. Oh, okay. How? So some of you may not have a Solaris Vision sure. that has the custom tab in it, but or, or have a Solaris that's been upgraded to be um, this version three that right. has the custom tab. Right. But if you have palette 11, you can play with these designs in palette 11. Okay. And then save those designs and then stitch them out on a machine. Oh, very good, okay. So there's there's all sorts of ways you can, you can have fun with this. Yeah. And so we have these designs that are available for you to purchase, but our goal today is to show you how you can take your own design mm -hmm. that you create in palette 11 okay and then you bring it over to the machine and stitch it out okay and we're going to show you how to do that i'm going to show you one that we were playing with we used our be sew in sewing machine logo oh very nice and we figured out how to put it through palette bring it back into our solaris vision and then we just stitched it out in this circle shape. Okay, I love it. And we're currently working on stitching it out some more over here because I'm gonna turn it into a cool tote bag. Okay. But we wanna show you how we did this with a different design. Okay, very cool. So let's cool. go over to the machine. All right. Okay, so today we're gonna show you how to take some line art and turn it into a custom fill stitch using your palette 11. Okay. For use on your Solaris Vision or Solaris 1 and 2 with the uh, Solaris Vision upgrade. Correct, because if you have the third upgrade on your machine, right. it has the capacity to read custom fill and motif stitches. That's right. So what I have here is my Palette 11 software open on my laptop. And I'm gonna come up here into the top corner and I'm gonna click Option and I'm gonna say Programmable Stitch Creator, and it's gonna open a whole new window for me. And then up here in the corner. So now we're on the left-hand corner. On the other corner, that's right. I'm gonna click File, and I wanna say New Decorative Fill Pattern. Okay. You see how there's a difference if I wanted to do a motif, I have that option as well, but today we wanna do a fill. Okay. So I'm gonna click that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to View, and I'm gonna bring up the line art that we found. You're gonna love it. And so did you just go to the internet to find this line art? I did, I just Googled continuous line art. You can also try continuous quilting designs okay. if you wanna do something like that. And to be fair, you can make your own designs, but we oh, have sure. found that 
as, if you're getting started with this, if you can use something that's already a mm -hmm. pre-made line design to follow, yeah. you might have a little bit better luck with that. Yep. So I clicked open template and then I've saved to my desktop this sweet little kitty. Because you all know how much I love kitties. Jam knobs for key cats. Okay, so it's really big. Yes, not a problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag the image until I can see the top corner. Okay, because if we drag the corner, we're proportionally resizing. Correct. And so I'll click and hold the corner and I'm going to shrink it down. So it a still looks times the here. same as it did before, just we're, we're making just it smaller. smaller because yep. we don't want a tall, thin kitty or a short, fat kitty. That's right. Just We could, but that's a whole different. Just a standard size cat. Yeah. So what I need to do is get it down to the size that will fit on your plate. In on the your... grid that I have right okay, here. Okay, very good. And then I'm going to drag it inside that grid. Okay, and now I'm ready to start building my line art for my fill on top of this outline design. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click over here to home and I'm gonna click on draw line. Okay. Once I have that, I'm going to see that I have a cross here. Okay, I'm gonna back up just a minute so I can also see what you're doing with your hands Absolutely. here because I think it's important for people to know. Absolutely. So my mouse, my cursor, will become a crosshair with a little zigzag next to it that looks like my draw line tool. Yep. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start just clicking points along the line art. So you're doing this without a mouse. I'm doing this with my trackpad, but you could do it with a mouse as well. Okay, so you have that option. You do. And so I'm gonna hover over the first, the entry point, right, of the little cattail. Okay. And I'm gonna click, and then I'm just gonna start moving along the different points. Because you're just trying to follow the shape, right? Mm -hmm. So when you're going around a tight curve, you're gonna to have to have your points closer together, as opposed to if you were doing something that was a straight line, you could probably snap from one corner to another, correct? Yeah, if it's super geometric, you can snap to grid. If I don't want to snap to grid, I'll show you real quick here. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. What I can do is right here under view where it says with axes, if I just go all the way down, they'll go away. Okay, but now we have a strange Indeed. hairpin. Indeed. So what I'm going to do is when select here, I'm going to click on it. It's going to highlight it. And then I'm going to hit delete. Okay, because you didn't really mean to do that. No. No, Got it. goodness. And so we'll go back to draw line, and now without my grid on here. Okay, and now explain why did the grid have to go away? Because if the grid is there, it will snap to the grid. It won't make nice, smooth lines. So it's trying to find those corners exactly. of that blue grid. I needed the grid there to know where my cat needs to go, but then I needed to take it away to draw the line. Okay, got it. So back to where we were here, starting on the tail. We'll make our little clicks along each kind of point of the curve and I'm doing lots of little clicks here to have a nice smooth curve and I am gonna just go around this entire cat until I make it to the end point of the line and then we'll come back and we'll show you what to do next okay okay so we she's down where we're doing the last curve around the cats the um, kitty's back leg. leg that's right so we didn't bore you with um, her click abilities. It's just a lot of clicking. So I'm going just up trust and around. Me, she clicked all the way around the <laughs> Click around until I get to the end of my line here. And then when I'm happy with that, I hit the enter key on the keyboard. Look at here! Okay. Kitties! Yeah. So what you're going to have is it will immediately populate the preview of how close they would be together. And so what we're gonna do, if we wanted them closer together, is we're gonna come back over here to view and we're gonna put our grid lines back on. Okay, and what I can do too is I'll come back over here on the left side of view and I'm gonna make the cat design that we pulled up disappear because we're done with it. So I just come over here to my template block here and I just go all the way to the minus, and that'll make that go away. Because now kind of like I don't need it. Kind of like the designer, where you can get your background to yes. disappear by touching the leaf. Yes. Got it. Okay, so now you can see that all I see is my cat on my grid. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back over here to home, 
and we're going to say select and we're going to click our kitty cat by dragging a box around him mm -hmm. <laughs> if i can manage not to click away from it and what i'm actually going to do here so you've got options if you want this to be a big cat or a small cat you can resize him what we're going to do is we are going to do a little kitty Now, I, I assume that you could probably like mirror image them and um, flip them up and down. You can flip them. Um, I don't think you can mirror image on this one, but you can definitely flip them. Okay. Um, now you could rotate him and get kind of a similar effect. Okay. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click duplicate and it's going to give me multiple kitty cats. And maybe I want this to be, he's not exactly a square, so we'll play and we'll see what we get here. So we'll have him there, and then maybe we'll do another duplicate, and we're gonna put one down here, but we're gonna make it kind of a different size, and then maybe we want one more. You can just kind of play whenever you're here. So you maybe can make a little bitty one? Maybe it's a whole just family of kitties. And then you know what? I want one more duplicate because I just want lots of cats. It'll be just like my house. <laughs> You're telling our secrets. So we'll duplicate that and we'll make another cat. Now this is totally up to you, right? I'm just playing here. So whatever you want to do, whatever you're happy with is totally fine. We'll move this one up. Okay. okay. So you can play with this until you're happy with it. You know, move the cats around, any number of things for whatever it is that makes you happy. One big cat, 10,000 cats, whatever you like. Once you have it how you want it here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna click again on this icon up top here. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna do save as, and I've already got a BISO and flash drive in the left hand side of my computer here that I'm just going to save it to and we're going to title it cat cat fill right sure. and I need to make sure that it saves as the file type decorative fill files which is a dot PLF correct and then I'm just going to save it you don't need to change that to a PES no because then it right because this is playing in IQ designer. That's right. We're not creating a stitch file right now. We're creating a fill stitch. That's right. So once I have that done, I'm ready to go over to my machine. So okay. we're at the vision now. Yep. I've got my flash drive plugged into the side of my machine and I'm going to go to IQ designer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to my fill properties, fancy fills, hit select, and then over here, I've got custom. From here, I've got my pocket. This is gonna access my flash drive. There she is. I'm gonna tap my kitty cats. I'm gonna say okay. Okay, I'm okay with red, although it's gonna stitch out green, but red is easy to see on the screen. That's true. I'm gonna say okay. And then I'm gonna come over here, and for now, we're just gonna pick a cute shape. Um, It'd be super fun if there was a cute I don't think there is a kitty cat oh, shape. Let's it's do okay. the hexagon. We'll do the hexagon. Which one is a hexagon? Good gracious. The number five. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I was trying to do the octagon. You know, six sides. Everything is fine. It's okay. An octagon is eight shapes. Okay. Octopus, octagon. Uh, yes, I There's know. not a hexapus. <laughs> there should be. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our fill bucket and we're going to fill this guy with kitty cats. As always, this is just a placeholder of what the design is gonna be. To see what the actual stitch out will be, I have to hit next. And now it's gonna generate the actual stitches and then show me my different options here. I wanna see more kitty cats, so I'm gonna come to my scale and we're gonna decrease it as much as we can, which is down to 50%. And now I have so many more kitty cats Yay. in there. I could do all kinds of other things if I wanted to rotate it or wobble it, all kinds of fun things. So like right now on this one, the outline is a satin stitch. So yes, you could change that too. Yeah, I can, yeah. yeah, yep. But for now, we're just gonna hit set because we're happy with our kitty cats. Right, and just as an FYI, 
can you go back um, to where that custom yeah, of course. button is? Mm -hmm. So just so you know, when you're on this custom button, there is not a way for you to make this this particular file that we just created, this cat file or whatever else you make, there's no way for it to have a permanent home on this machine. It's a temporary save. It's a temporary save. You're going to be pulling your custom files from your flash drive. That's right. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Okay, so we'll go next. And you know what, I, on second thought, I think those cats are a little too small. So we're just gonna change them just a little. It's fun to play. And then we're gonna hit set. And all of the other properties would still work too. Oh if yeah. If you wanted to like skew them, but I think mm -hmm. then you'd look like you had You would have weird crazy looking cats. cats. But if you if that makes you happy, you do yep. it. So go ahead and hit So it's gonna warn me that it's leaving IQ Designer. I know that, so that's okay. We're gonna say okay. And what we need to do here, because we put on a five by seven, is you can always still edit these the same way you can edit other designs. So we're going to shrink it down to fit in our 5x7 because we want you guys to see this stitch just a little bit. I'm going to go to embroidery and then I can see my first step is my fill with my kitties right. and my second step is the satin stitch around it. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to lower my presser foot and I'm going to hit start and it's going to stitch out some kitties. And we're gonna let it stitch here for just a minute. And then we'll come back to it we'll so that you can see ya. the finished hexagon of kitties. That's right. That was super easy. Yes, it was. Yep. And so if you don't have um, palette 11, mm -hmm. this right here is the perfect reason because you cannot create this kind of stitch on the machine. No, it can only be done in palette and right. then and take then it bring, to the machine. And then take mm -hmm. it to the machine. The machine can stitch it, but trust me, I tried. I was like, <laughs> I'm going to see if this can work. There's not a way for me to create this right. in the way, through the software steps we took. So we'll come back to this when it's finished. So this is where we finished stitching out the kitty cats that I we just worked love on. It. Oh. And we can use this now because we have it saved as a design that we can play in our custom Mm -hmm. fills and do whatever we want to. I could use this on a pillow. I could use it on a purse. I could okay. use it anywhere I want to because I now Let's have this and I can them. access it and be as creative with it as I want. I now, love it. I promised you that we were sewing out some more oh, yes. of those designs. Look. So you can see here it's stitching out more of our um, be sewn sewing machine logo in our be sewing green in our be sewing green yes and we are going to um, create a bag out of this so i've got a little bit more stitching to do before i get okay, to the bag so stay tuned stay tuned maybe next week for that one maybe a couple weeks maybe a couple weeks give me time <laughs> in case i don't get it done but Fair we will enough. show you the finished project okay. because not only are we creating it here but we're going to make a, a really fun serger bag so i think you're going to oh, enjoy seeing how yeah. we take this create our own fabric mm -hmm. with this unique stitching and turn it into something. I love it. Okay. So what we want you to know is this is available for you if you have a Solaris Vision mm -hmm. or you're upgraded to version three. Yep. Or if you have palette 11 and you have questions about how do I turn this into the motif or fill stitch mm -hmm. so I can play with this. That sounds great. All of the stores have the capacity to help you with this. So give us a call at any one of our six stores. That would be Humble, Oklahoma City, Muskogee, Tulsa, Fayetteville, or Springfield. I think I went right up I-35 <laughs> and down the turnpike. There you go. So we would love to hear from you. Be sure to ask we are here to help. We want you to thoroughly enjoy this wonderful custom button that is in your machine or play with it on your Palette 11. And if you don't have either one of these, say, I need a Solaris Vision or I need Palette 11 because I want to be able to do that. Absolutely. Then we can help you out with that. Thank you so much for joining us. We're glad we got to go over this with you. It's been something we've been wanting to play with for a long time. Yeah. And we've done it. So. We look forward to seeing you. We'll talk to you again next week. We are having our President's Day sale this week, so come on in. Absolutely. Talk about a great time to buy something. Yeah. Now is the time. All right. All right. Thank you. See you all later.